Yo people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shabir Safi and in this video, we are going to learn how to monitor our Kubernetes cluster with tools like Prometheus and Grafana. So let's get to it. First, let's understand some of the important components and how they all work together. Say, we have a cluster with a couple of nodes and few applications deployed on it. The first component we need to install is the kube state metrics. It's a service that talks to Kubernetes API to get all the details about the API objects like pods, deployments, services, etc. And it exposes all that data on metrics endpoint so that the services like Prometheus can scrape all those metrics. Don't confuse kube state metrics with metric server. Metrics server only exposes very few metrics to Kubernetes itself and that data is not scrapable directly with Prometheus. The next component is called a node exporter. Prometheus deploys these exporters as a daemon set and they collect the system level metrics like CPU, memory, IO, etc. and exposes them in Prometheus format. Then we have Prometheus server. The server periodically pulls the metrics from different sources like exporters and kube state metric service and by default uses a local storage to store all that data on disk. Once the system collects the data, tools like Grafana can access it by using the PromQL query language and build user-friendly dashboards on top of it. So that's a high level overview of how these components work together. And now let's go ahead and install them on our local kind cluster. Let's create a new kind cluster. You can find the link to the GitHub repo in the description box below to create a new cluster. And I also have a video on my channel that walks you through on how to create a kind cluster. Okay, so our cluster is created. Let's quickly check that our nodes are up and running. Cool. The next thing we need to install is Helm. Uh, if you don't already have it, install it using Homebrew. And next, we are going to open artifacthub.io and let's search for Prometheus Helm charts. Let's copy this command to add the Helm repo. All right. Now let's go ahead and copy the command to install the chart. Provide the namespace and also pass the create namespace flag. After the chart is installed, let's quickly check the pods and services it has deployed to the monitoring namespace. Okay, as we can see, it has deployed the kube state metrics service, exporters on both nodes, and also the Prometheus server. Now we are going to install Grafana. So go to artifacthub.io and search for Grafana and copy the command to install the Helm repo. Now, there are a few default values that we are going to override for Grafana. So let's take a look at them. The first one is data sources from where Grafana will fetch the data. Uh, it could be Prometheus or CloudWatch or any other service, but by default, this value is empty. So let's copy this section and let's create a new values.yaml file. In the URL, we need to provide the connection to Prometheus server. So check the services in monitoring namespace and copy the Prometheus server. Now, if you are deploying Grafana in same namespace as Prometheus, you can just leave it as is. But I always prefer providing the FQDN for the services to avoid any mistakes in the future. The next value we need to override is the admin password. If you don't provide the password, it will generate a really long random password. So to keep things simple, we are going to use admin as password. 
and the last value we need to override is persistence um, by default it is disabled so you lose any dashboards or panels that you'll create in grafana so let's go ahead and enable persistence as well let's go ahead and copy the helm install command i'll change the name to grafana and don't forget to provide the namespace and the values file we just created. So once the Helm chart is installed, you can retrieve the password using this command. And you can see that the password is admin as we have provided. Okay, let's check all the pods, services and persistent volumes that are deployed. So looks like our Grafana pod is up and running. And we can also see that the persistent volumes are created for Prometheus server and for Grafana. To access Grafana, uh, we'll use the kubectl port forward command and provide the service name, local port 8080, and the service port 80 on which Grafana service is deployed. Let's copy this address and open it in our browser and we can access Grafana. Great. So let's use username as password as admin to log in. Awesome. So at the moment, we don't have any dashboards created. So the next thing we need to do is go to Grafana dashboards and click import and Open up a new tab in your browser and go to grafana.com slash dashboards. Since Grafana is open source, there are thousands of dashboards publicly accessible that we can easily import. So let's search for Kubernetes cluster. This one looks good. Let's copy this ID and paste it here and load. Feel free to change the name and I'm just going to leave it as is. And here, if all of your components are deployed correctly, you'll see Prometheus option here. If you don't see it, then there must be something wrong. So check logs uh, of Grafana pod to get more details. And there we go. We can see various cluster metrics like CPU load, memory, uh, number of pods in different states. So go on and import more dashboards and play around with this. So I also want to show you guys one more way to install these components using a single Helm chart. So let's take a look at that. Uh, first, let's uninstall all the Helm charts we have deployed. Nice. Let's make sure everything is cleaned up. Great. Okay. So now, if you do Helm search repo Prometheus, you'll see this chart called Cube Prometheus Stack. And this chart would, will install all the components, including Grafana for us. So it's much easier to install this single Helm chart. So let's go ahead and install it. Great. Let's look at the pods and the services deployed. So you can see it has deployed Grafana, KubeState Matrix, Prometheus Server, and Node Exporters. So now let's access the Grafana dashboard just like before using kubectl port forward command. Let's log in. And just like before, let's import the dashboard.
So there we go. Everything works just like before. But here's a caveat. If I go back to, uh, and look at all the pods and restart the Prometheus server, and if we go back to Grafana, you'll see that all the previous data about the cluster is gone. So here are two things I want you guys to figure it out yourselves. First, why when I restart the Prometheus server, all the data is gone and how can you make that data persist? Second, when I logged into Grafana the second time, I did not show you guys the password. So how do you retrieve the password and how you can configure your own password? All right, people, so that's it for today. If you found this video useful or learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.